yeah welcome to java basic video number 2 so these are especially made uh, for a selenium prerequisite so in this video we'll be seeing about inheritance so this is one of the main future in oops concept okay let's uh, discuss about this and also in uh, framework building you will use this concept uh, very well like very efficiently uh, you will be using this inheritance concept so let's see the what is inheritance and how you will use in java okay so before that i'll tell you the scenario where exactly this inheritance will come into picture in practical okay so okay for example you have a login scenario okay where you need to log in every time and log out after completing your test so there are some n number of test cases so for every test case for example uh, assume the facebook so now first test case is you need to update the status you will log in update the status and log out uh, second test case like you need to check the how many friends are there in a single profile for again for that what you will do you will log in check the friends list and log out so for any test case login and log out are common okay so whatever test case you want to perform in facebook the main thing is you need to log in and log out so code redundancy in all the test cases every time you need to write this code login and log out so why can't we write in some special file and why can't you extend it why can't you inherit that properties inherit in the sense acquire the properties of something so we will write in one special class both a login and logout and in our test case we will acquire those properties of that file that is nothing but we will inherit those properties of that file so that we can directly use a login method without implementing it again and again just we will call login method from that function so the implementation of login will write in separate file so whereas when we are writing the test case so we will not again implement the same login we will just call this method by inheriting from some other class right so by this way you can uh, reduce the redundancy of code and uh, the reduce your you know your efforts of writing the code if you have some common built functions and uh, place somewhere those in some file and when you are executing your code whenever you find that you need there is some reusable component which is already done just call it from some file okay so now here uh, this is one actual scenario uh, where you see in practical using uh, selenium or qtp anything any automation tool you use uh, where exactly you use this uh, mechanism so in web driver in selenium when we built in java so what i have explained now this scenario can be done using inheritance okay so you come out of that scenario we will see the basic things so what is inheritance and how to declare in one class and how to inherit it from other class like how to call something from other class into our uh, existing class and all those uh, we will see from basics okay so what i have told you is now the general scenario which we see practical so if you want before learning something if we know what is practical uses then we'll uh, build up a uh, interest to learn that so that's the reason i have explained you where you use in practical so now we'll see what is inheritance so here to demonstrate to explain inheritance i'll take okay java basically i'll create a project it created on that okay no problem I just right click I need to create in the selenium java basics folder so I am clicking on right click on src new package 
oh, before I thought to create a project so we'll do one package here inheritance package yeah in this I'll create parent class okay for example here we'll take scenario of parent and child so you want to describe the behavior and uh, some details about the parent so you will create a parent class and write where he stays address of the parent and uh, location where he stays I mean both address I mean location city and country where he stays you need to declare those in class so whenever you declare a child class of this parent I mean parent will do one thing there is one grandfather there is one big family where grandfather father and all stays together okay so first I'll describe a grandfather properties like where exactly he stays his city his location and his country just follow me I will get very clear so what exactly I am trying to tell so I will de declare one method like his city where the grandfather is located so this basically so assume that this is the one family where all stays together it is a large family and we are displaying city where he stays and city is from Hyderabad he stays in Hyderabad ok and some country some, some properties we are defining I am explaining in you layman terms to you to get an idea of what this exactly what is this inheritance concept right so okay meanwhile we'll take these two city and country where the grandfather stays so now you are asked to declare the same properties so mention where same properties where his son stays okay grandfather son so in the same pa package I will create other class okay and now here so our assumption we know that both all stay together now again we need to declare where city and country where the sun is uh, staying but we know that already where the grand we have declared methods where the grandfather is staying so redundant code if we declare again city and address where he is staying it is like a redundant ok so what we will do is we will inherit the grandfather properties to our son class so that we can directly call the method of this city and country into the son class ok first we need to acquire the properties the rights of the grandfather class to the son class this can be done by the keyword extends so what class you need to extend so what properties what uh, properties of class you need to acquire mention the class name here here I need to acquire the properties I mean I need to inherit the properties of grandfather class okay so I am just extending a grandfather so that here so this statement says that son is extending grandfather that means son have the rights of inheriting all the properties from grandfather and now I will show you uh, okay, I will create an object for son as son is equal okay right now I did not create any object any methods in this class but still when I clue s dot I will get access to city see s dot city see remember look carefully here I did not declare city method here but still I am able to call the city method with sun object how it is possible 
this is possible only because by this keyword we are inheriting the properties of grandfather as we are having city method in the grandfather class we are able to access here for example i will remove this then observe that you will get error here once i remove this you will get some red underline here yeah see here that means it is it is asking to create method city because there is no method called city in this class okay so without a method you can't call that method with a sun object but when you say extends then it will go and check in the grandfather class because as we are inheriting the properties from grandfather class sun will go to the grandfather class and check whether a city method is present or not so then the error will go when you run this code hyderabad will print so i'll show you i'll run and see this so i am running only sun class here look at carefully i am right clicking on sun class run as java application but i'll see the grandfather in output i mean hyderabad in output so this was a syntax declared in grandfather class but i am able to call this in sun function so why we are calling this because we know that both stays together so why can't we use the method which was declared in the, in that some other class okay again by instead of uh, making the code again writing the code it increase our effort right so again what are the other methods declared here as dot country so you will have to all this must see as dot country is present okay so when you run this you will get hyderabad in india now yeah, see this if you remove this country i'll comment out this then it will throw error here see i removed a country class from grandfather now go to sun class and see see it is throwing error because when you say s dot country it will check first in the same class whether the country method is present or not and then it go and check whether i am inheriting something or not so i am inheriting grandfather class and it will go back there even here we have removed this commented out this country code that means country code is not even present here so that's the reason you are not able to access it so that's what do you remember starting i told the scenario a login and logout this is some status update scenario okay login logout and all the stuff i'll keep in this grandfather class i mean some other class whenever i am writing the sun class again i will not write the code uh, entering user id password and all i'll just call login method some from other function because these are these are reusable stuff right so something is reusable we'll place it in some separate file and we use uh, inheritance concept to call them into in our existing class here not only the methods we can call even variables for example i'll declare one variable here int i is equal to 3 okay i'll go back to sun method and s dot one second okay i need to declare it not the main yet uh, uh see here now you are getting access of variable also s dot i the i which you declared as 5 here okay you are able to access here that variable also not only the methods even a variables you can access from other class which you are inheriting s dot i and i'll print out this okay now 5 should be our output actually that i was not declared here but still you are able to access that variable okay and see that s dot i is 5 so this is the way how you use inheritance now you can use other class also by extending this 
I'll create one more class, and he is the grandson, the son of this son. I mean grandson. So he will extend. Okay, we'll make sure that he will extend some son class. it is case sensitive java one here <coughs> i'll create grandson object some gs is equal to okay and we'll do one thing before that i'll create one more extra method here what mm. sun activities these are uh, sun activities okay this is extra method so some add i am giving Public. What's the wrong here? So I have created one more method in son class. Now in grandson, I am extending son. That means I will acquire all the properties of son. But son have the properties of its own plus grandfather. That means now grandson will have the properties of both grandfather and son. Okay. So we are extending only son here. That means grandson will have the properties. I mean acquire the properties of only son. But when it control reaches son class, it finds that even son have access to grandfather as it is extending grandfather class also. That means our grandson will have the access to both son and grandfather. So this is called multi level hierarchy. Okay, multi level inheritance. And now you ca I can access all the methods which are declared in grandfather and also son. See, this is the grandfather method. Activities is son. And if you see a country, this is from grandfather. Okay, so you can when you run this, so activities and India, you are able to run on grandson. But if you extend the grandfather, you will not have access to activities method because grandfather is not extending anything; it's just its own. So. See here, you give gs dot. You don't have. Okay, I will spelling mistake. See, you will not find activity here because that is declared in son but not grandfather. Okay, uh, I'll make it back to son. So this is how we will use uh, inheritance, like creating some common things in one place. So when you want to use the some stuff which is declared in some other class, we will just use the extends keyword and call those two in our class, and we'll continue directly by calling the method without implementing the code again and again. So it reduces a lot of redundancy. And this type of mechanism is called inheritance. So this will be used uh, frequently. uh in the frameworks okay so the that's about this class session in the next class we'll be seeing a continuation of this thank you